and welcome back to my channel. I'm Zena, Warthog Princess, and I got Fearmill to share with you today. I already filmed an unboxing video, but because everything was all wrapped up and I misspoke a few times, I thought, well, let me just do another video where it's unwrapped and ready to just kind of run across the table and give you a whirl. So one thing I'll say at first is if you get one of these catalogs, take a look at it because some of them have a 20 off 75 coupon and the code is on the back. Now, this particular one, the code is actually absent, but it says right there that there should be a code. So not sure if I'll get the coupon for that, but I got a couple others, so not worried about it. Um, a shout out to the lovely ladies at the Mayfair Mall Vera Bradley store because I, they put all this order together for me. And they were so sweet and included a little note card to say thanks and a beautiful little note inside. So thank you for that and thank you for everything. All right, so first items, I like to get the luggage tags every time I buy a new backpack because they're great for luggage and suitcases and all that, but I also use them for my backpacks. Well, that's kind of an anal retentive thing, but it's fun and definitely I'm not gonna lose my backpacks. These are in the Kaleidoscope and Tossed Posies. If you're not aware, by the way, the toss posies is the breast cancer pattern this year and vera has raised over 30 million dollars to go towards research so pretty amazing and all of us rounding up to the next dollar helps go to that so give a little especially if you're buying a little anyway so there's that little push for that i did get something new this is the petite garden pattern in the vbu line it's just a simple zip id but a couple of things i'll tell you right off the top it is quilted it has a metal zipper, but it's not that yucky metal zipper that we've been talking about in all the new bags, the iconic line. This one is smooth and sleek. It does have a solid interior, which is expected based on the pictures online, but it also has a new type of zipper pull. It seems like, a, I assume it's faux leather. I suppose it could be real, but it seems like the faux leather. It's kind of like the ribbon style, but in leather. So, well, like I said, faux leather. Anyway. So that's a nice zip ID. And then I also got a zip ID in Shore Thing. And if you haven't seen, there are actually two in the Shore Thing. This particular one was sadly a few dollars more, but this one has the turtle sewn on to it. So that's kind of nice. Otherwise it's normal, normal. And as far as pulls, it's just got the faux leather loop, which I don't really like, but inside is patterned and it's that um, sort of satiny crossover. Anyway, so is that. This I'll hold aside for just a moment because I also got the Carson cell phone crossbody, which is a nice little crossbody to just put your phone. I think it's big enough. Oh, that's a good snap. Um, big enough to fit pretty much any cell phone that's on the market now. Um, and then just snaps closed, keep it secure so it won't fall out. And on the back, it has a slip pocket. So in this slip pocket, you actually, it's big enough to fit a zip ID. And the zip ID fits all the way inside there. So that's nice. You can have like your little to-go things and not, still be hands-free. So that's lovely. So let me pull that out so I don't forget it's in there. All right, next thing I got the clear lotion bag. This is called Classic Navy. Um, I'm not sure where they came up with that name, but if you look at the pattern and the colors, it's kind of in between the Springtide Navy which is the darker C pattern, and then the shore thing, both of which I like, and both I'm kind of stocking up on a beach collection, but I don't have this bag or any of the previous lotion bags, so I decided now was the time, since it was a cute little bag. So I got that, give you a review later after I've used it and see what I think about it. All right, another thing I got that I didn't have any of before, this is my first stainless, steel travel mug. This one's in Vines Floral. It was on sale, thankfully. It's purple, which is my favorite color, and it's the dark pattern. So hopefully it wears well. It feels pretty hefty, so hopefully it also keeps things pretty cold. I've heard mixed reviews, so we'll see. It's a pop-off top, not a screw-off, so I'm a little nervous about that, but we shall see. It'll slip open, closed. There's not much of a lip to drink. I might be like dribbling like a fool when I use this. We'll see, but I'll let you know how that goes. All right, next thing I got is also a new thing. This is the Shore Thing pattern. I thought I could use this wristlet. It's interesting size and shape. Couple things of note. One is 
Inside is plastic lined, waterproof. Um, it is called the swimsuit wristlet, so it kind of makes sense that you could put a wet suit or something in there, but that's what I use my ditty bags for. So I'm not exactly sure how I use this, but I thought even if I don't need the plasticized interior, this could be good for a lot of things. I mean, you could use it, a tablet sleeve, put notebooks in here and some pencils and just have like a little to go office thing. I don't know. I'm retired. I'll do all kinds of crazy things with my Vera and we'll, we'll see how it goes. But the other thing is it has this little charm on the zipper thing and that's kind of a nice classy touch. I really haven't seen that in any of these things. It's like a rose gold color, a little diamond that says VB on it. So that's kind of nifty, kind of different. The swimsuit wristlet. And then I have lots of large cosmetics. I like to have one for all my travel bags. And they don't have to matchy matchy, sometimes they coordinate, but anyway. This particular one is the Iconic line, the Iconic Large Cosmetic. I did not have any of these. I have some in the, in the smaller size, um, not even the medium actually, but, so I thought I'd try this out, because I do use them. This is a good size pocket on the front. It does have the lined cotton interior, which is beautifully coordinated. Um, and like I said, good size pocket. Inside the main pocket is plasticized, but it is also still that cotton background pattern, so that's nice. Um, the only thing I would say is it would be lovely if this plastic was kind of sewn in a little bit better on the bottom because it sort of just moves around a lot. I'm not really worried about that. It's not like the ditty bag that you can turn inside out of itself. So not sure, but we'll see how that goes. I also got this in the Toss Posies. Now you'll notice that there's a trend item here because you'll see a bunch of these come up. I did also hear that this coordinates very well with the new Disney patterns that came out yesterday. And I really, really hope that's true because I bought a bunch of that too. So we'll do a Disney haul later, but right now we're gonna talk Toss Posies for a few minutes. All right, the next thing in Toss Posies is the Hadley backpack. If you've never used one of these, um, I think they are great purse backpacks. If you're going hands-free and you're not really a crossbody person or you just need to balance things differently or you want to carry a little more than a crossbody would typically hold, this is the way to go. I have a whole bunch of them. I love this pattern. I think it's very vibrant. So even though it's sort of a dreary gray background, I do like the dark backgrounds with the really colorful patterns. So this is right up my alley. And the gray really honestly has grown on me. I really like it because it just is so vivid and Beautiful. Anyway, much better in person, by the way, than I thought online, and I liked it online, so there we are. Um, but these are great. They have the front zip pocket. This is that sort of satiny interior, but again, we're at least moving in the right direction with bringing the patterns back. I'm not really sure this is the best coordinating pattern for this, by the way, but it works, so whatever. Inside, you've got the zip pocket that actually goes pretty deep. It's about halfway down. And then two slips, can you see, sorry. Two slips and then just a decent sized space in the middle. The side has zip pockets as well. Oh, there's a big thread. Okay, I'll just trim that off later. So these ones, it's not big enough for a water bottle, which is fine. You just, for me, if I'm using this and I want to carry a water bottle, you actually have to put it in the main compartment and that's, that's okay. But if it's cold, it will be moist and, and um, condense and get stuff in here wet. So just be aware of that. Um, but they are great for like keys, things like that. And the other cool thing is this one has that sort of tablet area in the back. So that's great. It does have a slip here, which is a great place to put your phone as well. So. That's the Hadley backpack. I do love to use these. If I'm gonna do a backpack purse, this is my go-to choice. All right. This is the end of part one. Please continue on to part two.